This One Degree Outside video is brought to you by Fiesta Shows. This holiday season, experience the magic of the celebration of lights. Drive through over a mile of glittering road transformed into a wonderland of color with more than a million LED lights in the Merrimack Valley, South Shore, Central Mass, and Maine. Now through January 3rd, save on tickets and enter to win at fiesta.1degreeoutside.com. Pat of predictions here at the One Degree Outside Weather Network. Meteorologist Matt Noyce looking out at the next two weeks and why the weather looks the way that it does. If all you want is the 14-day, you can get that anytime. It's on our free app, 14-day forecast for anywhere in the globe. One Degree Outside Weather app on both the App Store and Google Play. If you love this stuff or if you just want to support the cause, thank you to the over 700 of you that are already doing that by being members. Membership.OneDegreeOutside.com for more on that. All right, first of all, average tenth of an inch of snow on the ground here. We are already done that in some spots of central New England, but parts of central and northern Massachusetts are going to be a little bit behind. The farther south you come, we have a better chance of staying on target and being normal. That's interesting. That must mean that I'm thinking we make a little bit of a shift towards something more wintry coming up in the next two weeks. I do. I think particularly in the next three weeks that happens, but let's go ahead and lay it all out for you. 500 millibar heights. What is that? It's how high you have to go until the barometer hits 500 millibars. The reason that's important, go higher up. Air that's less dense tends to be warmer. We've colored that with warmer colors. All right. Air that's more dense tends to be colder. We've colored that with the colder colors. Well, we know that we've seen the cold breaking up over the past couple of weeks. We talked about this in pattern predictions last week, the fact that the cold would become disjointed cold because the polar vortex was weakening. The stratosphere was warming that was helping to drive some of the cold, kind of splintering it out across the northern hemisphere. So we're not done with that yet. You've got a shot of colder average temperature that comes in for the holiday into the holiday weekend. But at the end of the holiday weekend, look what happens. Yeah, warmer air battles back. So it's still somewhat disjointed. But hold on. As we get to the end of the holiday weekend and early next week, what's happening up on the north side of Hudson Bay near the North Pole? The polar vortex is making a comeback. It's beginning to recharge. It's beginning to get chock full of cold air again. It doesn't all happen at once. Notice as we get into the beginning of December, December 2nd, it's still somewhat transient. It will send a shot of cold in our direction for the end of next week, but it moves on by. But what are we doing after that? December 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th. 8th, 9th, 10th, we are building a massive cold and re-energizing the polar vortex up near the North Pole on our side of the Northern Hemisphere. This is exactly what you want to see if you want an expansion of winter. So this breather we're having right now lasts for at least another week, week and a half. But as we get toward the end of this two-week period, you will find the winter pattern starting to come on stronger and the signals will be exceptionally strong when you get across Canada, which sets you up for later on in December to see things pretty active, maybe even by mid-December. Now, in terms of surface temperature, look, at first, it is still disjointed cold. This does not happen with a flip of a switch. You've still got the warmth that comes in as we get through midweek, the blast of colder than normal air that comes in heading into the holiday weekend. By the end of the holiday weekend into early next week, you've got warmer than normal temperatures again, but watch what's building. You say, oh, is this it coming in? Nope, watch, ready? We'll go through next week, and as we get out, there it is, there it is. There is the uh, beginning of that rebuilding of cold dropping right down over the Northeast. By the end of next week, this is Saturday, December 6th, significantly colder than normal. Are there still spots of warmth in here? Yes. But when you're getting into that now, you're at December 9th, December 10th. So to be warmer than normal doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be blasting warm. Actually, what it sets you up for is repetitive overrunning events where you get warm clashing with cold and you generate snow. Not convinced that'll be the case in southern New England just in the beginning of that period. More excited for northern New England, all right? Now, in terms of what's coming up for temperature, one thing I told you in pattern predictions last week is watch for the warm days to get warmer as we get closer to them. Boy, has that happened. I think the same thing will happen as we get into Monday of next week. But then, then the bottom falls out and that colder air starts to come in. You see that with the overnight low temperatures, too, really bottoming out toward the end of the period, right? In terms of precipitation, I got to tell you, while it's an inch or two of liquid equivalent precipitation, most of this happens through December 2nd. After that, it will be a question with every disturbance of whether or not it can strengthen quickly enough as it moves near or just south of New England. 
and whether or not that can generate precipitation tapping into Atlantic moisture because it'll be buzzing along each one from west to east. I'm not convinced that happens at the end of this two-week period. It may take just a little bit longer than that to get that to happen. And that's why when you look at the overall snow forecast in the next week and a half to two weeks, you definitely see an expansion. You definitely see it coming south through southern Canada, the northern tier of the U.S., not a ton of it coming into New England. Again, you'll get some in the mountains of northern New England, but I am, if you are a winter lover who's looking for snow, I am hopeful for you with this kind of a pattern because the next step going just beyond the next week and a half to two weeks, right? Getting out toward, let's say, the middle chunk, the middle third of December, should be to continue that pattern farther to the south because of the fact that you watch a repetitive rebuilding of the polar vortex, not seeing it break down like we were looking at last week heading into this week. So there is plenty of reason to think that there is going to be winter that's ahead of us. Of course, you can stay on top of it all. We are New England's first and only streaming weather network, not only online at OneDegreeOutside.live, on our app atop the home screen of the app, but also on your smart TV, the YouTube app, and search for One Degree Outside Network. Thank you.